Okay, so we're back to the miniature train and specifically the cow catcher on 8.1 here. And what we see is we've got a panel here and a panel here we have to put on the front of the cow catcher. All the sides are offset by 0.1. That's what the TYP means is typical. So we're going to do an extrude cut. I'm going to make sure I'm not on a plane. So I click on white space. I'm going to go to extrude cut and then I'm going to pick that surface and I'm going to go perpendicular to that surface. So now because the loft is right, that's a, a flat surface and I've got this little tool right here called offset entities. I've already got a tenth of an inch or a hundred thou. I'm going to just click on the lines that I want to have offset and I end up with this nice little shape already here fully dimensioned around the part and when I exit I've already got my extrude cut I don't want to go 0.05 or 0.1 I want to go 0.05 and then hit the check mark and I'm gonna have a nice little part and it doesn't goof up on the inside because I've done this after I did the shell what would happen if you did the shell afterwards and we'll see if we can move this down below is it changes the thickness of the part. So that's kind of a neat little trick I haven't shown you guys in SolidWorks 2 where you can actually move your features to be done at different times. And then we're going to rinse and repeat because we got to put the same panel that's on this side over on this side and since it says TYP we're going to do the same thing where we extrude cut it's going to ask me what face click on this face offset entities and I'm just going to click on the surfaces, the edges actually on this one, not the surfaces. Got that. Um, exit my sketch and then at 0.05 that carried over. And voila, I've got that part. Now what's left on the cow catcher is just this back part, which isn't too big of a deal. Pretty certain you guys can do that. So hope that helps. Oops, while I'm out.